Okay, moving on to problem 12. Which of the following conditions is sufficient to guarantee that integers x, y, and z satisfy the equation x times x minus y plus y times y minus z plus z times z minus x equals 1? And we have all our answer choices listed out here. This is, this is basically what it's saying. Okay, now the easiest thing to do here is multiply everything out x squared minus xy plus y squared minus yz plus z squared minus zx is 1. Now take a look at these first three terms. Well, we can almost complete the square, but this coefficient isn't negative 2 for the xy. For it to be negative 2, we have to multiply everything by 2. So this becomes x squared plus x squared minus 2xy plus y squared plus y squared minus 2yz plus z squared plus z squared minus 2zx. And since we have multiplied everything by 2 on the left hand side, we have to multiply everything by 2 on the right hand side, this becomes 2. Well, now, we notice that we can now complete the square here. x squared minus 2xy plus y squared, y squared, and then here, y squared minus 2yz plus z squared. And then these last three terms remaining can also complete the square. So um, now this is equal to x minus y squared plus y minus z squared plus x minus z squared equals 2. Now for this to be 2, it has to be in this order 0, 1, and 1. Okay, well that means that one variable has to equal another and uh, one variable has to be one away from the other because this could be negative and there's a square so that becomes positive. After looking at all our answer choices, our analogy best matches answer choice D and we are done